Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on automatically registering your Django models within your admin.py file with a single command and to help us to achieve this outcome we're going to utilize the Django admin generator package but before we get straight to that we just want to go through a few um, concepts. So as you can see here I have a Django project up and running here and I have a models.py file and an admin.py file which stipulate that these are part of a Django app which is called CRM. So I have a Django app called CRM and within that app I have my models.py and of course my admin.py file within it. Right so let's dive deeper. So in my models.py file you can see I have a person model, I have a product model, a task model, a category model and a location model. Now this package is going to be especially useful if you're working with a Django project that has a lot of models and you don't want to have to take the time to unnecessarily go to your admin.py page and to register them all. Now another good thing about this particular package is it also structures your Django models in a particular way that is a lot more advanced and the quality is a lot better instead of just saying admin.site.register. There is some more clarity and finer touches to it which I will illustrate in this video. So what you can do of course is just make sure that you have a project where you have Django models that you need to migrate. Now I haven't made any migrations yet so all you're going to want to do is just make sure that you have some models to work with. So just some, some test data you could say. Now what you can do next is head on over to your terminal and you can run python manage.py make migrations and you want to run that command. And that's going to create your model. So in my case I have category, location, person, product and task. So now what we can do is we can migrate those models to our database. So I'm going to say python manage.py migrate and that's going to push those models to our to my database and there we go they've been migrated. Perfect. So we've got that set up. Next what we need to do is we need to go ahead and follow the steps for this package. So Django admin generator. So let's go ahead and install that within our project. So Django admin generator. Okay. So let's just install that. There we go it's been installed. Perfect. Next we need to scroll down and just keep in mind here the documentation is available if you want to read for further detail. Now we can see here there are only really two steps, so really simple. You want to install the Django admin generator which we have and you just want to now add Django underscore admin underscore generator to your list of installed apps. So we can go ahead and copy the following. We can head on over to our project and you just want to go to your settings.py file. So I'm just going to navigate to mine here. And I'm going to go to my list of installed apps. Here it is. And I'm just going to open my quotes and paste in that app. So the Django admin generator app. Just go ahead and add that in as you can see here on my screen. And we can just go ahead and save that and close that up. Great, so now what we want to do is we want to ensure that our admin.py file automatically configures all of these models and registers them for use for the Django admin. So we can go ahead and evaluate the um, on-screen instructions. And to do so, we would need to generate an admin for a given app. So you can see here the syntax. So it's manage.py admin underscore generator app name two greater than symbols app name and um, forward slash admin.py. So let me give you some context. You're going to want to first of all say Python. So what I can do first of all is head on to my command prompt, clear this up and you want to say Python first of all. After which you just want to copy this here just after the forward slash this whole line. We're not going to press enter yet because we do need to fill in the blanks you could say. And you want to add that in. So let's see. So it's going to run pythonmanage.py admin underscore generator, which is going to automatically go ahead and transfix these models here and register them in admin.py. Now there are a few gaps here we need to go through. So let's see what we have. So it says here app underscore name. So the the models.py file that we're working with here 
as you can see here, is part of the app CRM. So this refers to your Django app from which that particular models.py file is currently situated within. So in our case, or in my case, should I say, it's going to be CRM. So I'm going to remove this app name that I have here and replace it with CRM. And then again, it's, it's going to ask for the location of where your admin.py file is. And as we can see, the admin.py file, which is in the same directory as models.py, is also part of the CRM app. So you're just going to put in your app um, essentially twice within. So I'm just going to replace app underscore name with CRM. So all you want to do is you want to make sure that with this um, syntax that you see here, you want to add in Python to the front. So you have Python manage.py and the last thing you just want to change is where you see app name. You just want to go ahead and switch it with your app name. And other than that, it's going to be exactly as you can see here in my terminal. And all you'll want to do after you've added this in is you want to press enter. And that's going to automatically go ahead and process the models. So it won't show the model names here, but it's going to process um, the, the number of models. So we had five, so five lines. Now what you can do is go to admin.py and you may want to just remove the default um, statement here at the top. And as you can see here, it automatically goes ahead and imports all of the models from our CRM app, which is right here. And it's going to go ahead and register it for us. As you can see here, it's first of all going to create individual classes. And these classes here are going to set up a list display, add in a filter and search fields for each of these models that we've registered according to their unique parts of data that is stipulated within that particular model as we can see. So it's gone ahead and it's set that up just as it should be set up. And another thing that I do wanna mention is down here we can see it registers our model for us by bringing in these classes here that it has created before and it's registered automatically all of those models for us. And what I mean by better structure and quality is it's adding its own list in terms of display, filters, and search fields, which is something you won't get automatically when you just say admin.site.register and in parentheses that particular model. So you can see it's automatically set up. Now what we wanna do is we want to test this and see if this actually is the case. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and clear your server and you wanna say Python manage.py create super user. So go ahead and create a super user. Okay, I'm gonna leave them the default, add in a password like such. Okay, then you wanna go ahead and run your server Okay, there we go. And what we can do is we can just head on to our admin page and you just want to enter in your credentials. Now, once you've added in your credentials, you can proceed to log into the Django admin and you should see now automatically, we can see that we have our CRM app and all of the associated models that we automatically registered with that single line of code is now present here within the Django admin. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. So that's how you can automatically register your Django models with a single command using the Django admin generator um, app. And that's how you can put it into place. And as always, thank you for your support and I'll see you next time. Um, goodbye and see you.